Ben. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market guys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 43, Nasdaq off 29, S and P's off five and a half, gold contract up five dollars and fifty cents, trading at thirteen thirty-six an ounce, silver fourteen dollars seventy-five cents an ounce, light sweet crude down two twenty-seven, trading fifty-one dollars flat, big number, no two ways about that. Notes and bonds, bottom line, higher price, lower yield. Here you go. 10-year note, up 8 ticks, 127.01. 30-year, up 5, 153.24. And king dollar, king dollar right now, up 333 ticks, trading 96.975. The euro is trading at 112 to 1 US dollar. The yen is at 108 and a half. And the pound is trading out here at 1. 26.88 to 1 US dollar. Our phone numbers are 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We take a look at the SPY. What you have out here in the SPY is you get a sideways move. You're down 60 cents. You get 45 million shares traded. Now, that's light volume, folks, on the way down. So, bottom line is that you are... You did trade down near the lower end of the range and close at the lower end of the range. Uh, it's going to be like a, a toss-up uh, if this thing wants to pop back topside once again. It doesn't look to me like it's going to, but that type of contraction and volume, you very well can have that pretty quickly. NDX 100, same setup inside the queues. Um, you have light volume down $1.06. 182.34, you did uh, 30, uh, 27 million shares. Let's go take a look at the volume characteristic inside the NYSE. You're at 706. So also inside the NYSE, that is light volume. NASDAQ Composite, you did 1.9 billion. That's, a, that's basically a toss-up. Uh, if we go take a look at that composite, same setup, you know. This is kind of, uh, this is the U, so we'll see where this shakes out tomorrow. Now, I, my, my take is that we still will go lower tomorrow, and I've seen this many times, and what it is, if you take a horseshoe and you put it upside down, and we're just looking at it straight, on the right-hand side, at the very top, right when you turn in the marketplace, that's where it does seem to basically, that you can get volume to dry up, and then the following day, that's where you'd be looking for some big volume. You don't get the volume tomorrow and you get lower price. Guess what? This thing will pop topside once again. Gold contract. What do you have with gold? Gold wants higher price. You had a bid all day inside the gold market out here. We're at the higher range. You're up 560. You've traded 225,000 contracts. Let's go to the GDX and see if they put some volume inside the GDX. Uh, not bad. They put 10 million in at the close. Let's see. Uh, we went from uh, 10 of. I was looking at it, is 25 million. Uh, you get 34 million. They put 6.6 .6 million in at the close, the last trade. Uh, so you are coming into this uh, swing point. You got some juice on the way in. So uh, your probability is pretty good that uh, number one is going to go after it, which is the 2312. We'll see whether it can blow it away. The note and bond market want higher price. Let's go look at the TLT. So the TLT. Not much movement. Five million shares. TLC is going to need more uh, volume for sure. Not much movement in the TLT out here. And King Dollar. Would you have a King Dollar? Now, uh, this is some divergence out here. Uh, and when you do look at King Dollar versus the gold market, uh, King Dollar had uh, much more move with conviction than the gold market did. Uh, what we did with King Dollar, you've done 24,000 contracts. You are at up $3, uh, three, uh, 320 ticks. You're at 96, 965. And that's saying that uh, good old King Dollar can get up to this 97,015. Uh, uh, that's where we had 29,000 contracts on the way down. But 24,000 contracts, 
Uh, that is decent uh, contract volume. There's no two ways about that. Lululemon, let's go take a look at Lululemon. They just come out with numbers. This closed at 170.89. It is trading right now at 174. Uh, numbers go like this inside Lululemon. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so earnings per share was 74 cents uh, for the year. They had seen uh, 448 to 550, 455. Now they see 451 to 458. Uh, they are looking at, uh, so they beat their bottom line by four cents. Uh, revenue, they're boosting their uh, full year forecast, but they missed something, man. Let's see what they missed. Okay, Lululemon boasts this earnings forecast for the full year. The guidance missed the average analyst estimates. Okay, so uh, for the year, let's see, the range. Oh, I see. Okay, for the year, they're saying 451 to 458, and the estimate is actually 462. Uh, hasn't affected the stock. Uh, one of our tigers are telling us uh, that uh, you, you can, we'll, we'll get some volatility out here because at first it was down $11, now it's up 7 And if we take a look at this, pull this back a bit. Well, this is going to be an all-time high. Yeah, it's going to be an all-time high. So, uh, now 179 is the all-time high. Let's go take a look at Restoration Hardware and see if that came out yet. That closed at uh, $94.89. That's trading at $115. Check this out. Okay. So see what this is doing? This is going right for that gap. Interesting, man. We'll look at this. So you can see you didn't have sellers down here. When this came out with the numbers the last time, folks, it gapped down. And that's why I was looking at that. The top of that gap is $114. Bottom is 102, and it's trading 115. So this is going to be challenging tomorrow for uh, Restoration Hardware. We'll go, we'll go over these numbers, uh, but this is going to be challenging because it, it already got up to that gap before. It got to 119, tested the 119 and 120, and then gave it up and went, ran all the way down to 88. Um, so we get some uh, action uh, after this uh, uh, closeout here, no doubt. You stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And then, uh, in this commercial break, come over to our website at TFNN. My man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be doing an outstanding workshop for you tonight. 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. 5 to 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. All you have to do is be a subscriber. You can subscribe right now, right here. Comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Stay right there, folks. Basil and I come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, 